because we haven't cultivated that strong inner masculine, the inner protector. Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking all about masculine energy, how I have learned to integrate my own internal masculine as well as healing the relationship with masculine energy. This has been a very prevalent topic throughout my life and a lot of my traumas from childhood came from toxic masculinity. So we will also be touching on toxic masculine in this video. So let's get started. The first thing that I want to touch on is what is masculine and what is feminine energy? Both males and females carry both energies just at a different degree or a different percentage. So for me personally, I am primarily feminine and there's a few tests that you can take online that actually tell you whether you are primarily masculine or primarily feminine, doesn't matter your gender. So healthy masculine energy is the protector. That is probably the best way to put it. The protector energy, the structure, the space holder, the energy that is conscious, consciousness. And then for feminine energy, we're looking at the darker side of things, um, the subconscious. We're also looking at receptivity. We're looking at being more allowing with things. It is also movement. It is fertility. It is life force. Like I mentioned, masculine energy in a healthy way is the protector energy. So let's touch on a little bit more of what it looks like when it's toxic masculine. So with toxic masculinity, we're looking at people who take advantage of others, who use power to hurt others or to gain control in some way. So the best way that I have found helps you match with a healthy masculine energy or surround yourself with a healthy masculine energy is to heal your own inner masculine because life is responding to us and if we want to experience a healthy masculine in terms of a relationship, a friendship, or even our own internal safety, our own internal structure and discipline, we have to reconnect with our inner masculine energy. This is especially important for women because in today's society, there are so many women that have wounded internal masculine energy. And that is why we are showing up in relationships and in life in a way that allows people to take advantage of us or manipulate us or accepting things that we don't truly deserve. And that is because we haven't cultivated that strong inner masculine, the inner protector that allows us to only accept things that we truly deserve, to know our worthiness and to not accept anything but that. And that is why I honestly wanted to make this video because healing your inner masculine as a feminine is so important because once you are able to do that, you're gonna notice that you're gonna start attracting in more healthy masculine energy. So let me touch on forgiveness really fast because forgiving the men who've hurt you in your past is the number one step of how to release that negative energy that's flowing back and forth between you and those people who may have hurt you. But also understanding that a healthy masculine would never hurt you. So if you have been hurt by masculine energy, if you have been hurt by men or women in their toxic masculine energy, know that that is exactly why. They're in their toxic masculinity. No healthy divine masculine will ever hurt you. So we have to forgive the people in our past who've hurt us and understand they did their best even though that was not okay so that we can move forward with our own life because forgiveness is for you. I'll give a, an example from my own life just to make this a little bit more relatable and easy to understand. In my early childhood, I experienced a lot of abuse and different experiences with different men that showed me as a little girl that I should not trust men, that men are abusive, men hurt you, men this and that, they don't protect you. But the problem was, as I became a woman 
and grew up into my feminine energy, I was projecting my own wounding onto these other men that I was around because I thought my own belief system was all men disrespect women, all men hurt other women. But that's not the case. Not all men are like that. Yes, there are a lot because a lot of people are still in their toxicity. But in order for you to heal your inner masculine as a woman or a man and vice versa, we have to allow ourselves to understand why understand why those things happened in our past so that we can let them go because it wasn't until I recognized those things and allowed myself to fully grieve that and to let that go that I have been able to start to trust in masculine energy again and I think that this is such an important thing for all of us as women and as men or anyone who carries a feminine essence because if you really want to experience a healthy relationship or healthy friendships and actually draw in a healthy masculine in your life, you have to trust them and you have to allow yourself to feel safe around that again in order for you to even just be happy in connections. I didn't explain this well enough, but basically when I'm talking about trusting masculine energy, I'm not just talking about you trusting other men or trusting other masculines. Ultimately, what you're doing is you're trusting in your internal masculine. If you trust in your internal masculine, you're trusting in your own protector, knowing that if you were to get into a relationship or if you were to be around someone who disrespects you, you can step up to the plate and say, no, I'm worthy of more. I deserve to be treated differently and you leave. That's you stepping into your internal masculine, protecting yourself. So ultimately, it isn't really trusting another man or trusting in another masculine. It's trusting in yourself. Because otherwise you're gonna sabotage and you're not gonna let men be men because you're traumatized. And I can say this from personal experience because I've gone through relationships where I did have divine masculine men in my life and I would stifle their masculinity. I would almost, I would try not to build them up or make them feel, I would like try to cut down their masculinity because I thought if they are too powerful or if they're too much in their power, they're gonna hurt me. But really, I wanted them to be in that. I wanted to, them to be in their divine masculine because that's what I'm attracted to. But until we heal those things, we're not going to be fully able to experience the bliss and the happiness of those connections, but also of having healthy friendships and having a healthy internal masculine where you can protect yourself, where you can show up for yourself. You can create discipline for yourself. My previous video was talking more on the feminine side and how to become a high value woman. And the thing is, all of those tips that I talked about in that video can also be used for men per se or for masculine energy because it's how to, basically how to become a high value person. If you guys are interested in getting a coaching session from me, the information is in the description box below. Um, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a like. It does help the channel grow. Comment anything down below that you guys want to see from me next and I will see you in my next video. Bye.